is going on boys and girls of youtube oh today's a good day so last night's video wherever danger throws it up here popped it blew up <laughs> i guess the hype for this guy to be at a jungler a good assassin jungler finally is really there so i'm about it i'm gonna be honest i'm about it because this god is probably the most overall unique god high res has ever made it's one of the most unique characters i've ever really i feel like i've seen done in a game like this the amount of work that they put in for this passive mind-blowing apparently just before we get into the gameplay apparently the ult isn't doing the full damage which is wild because the ult can still one sh like the double, doing the alt right with this one way i'm going to show you it can still one shot even with it not doing enough damage so we'll uh, we'll see where this goes shout out to everyone who jumped on this is uh i tweeted out and posted on discord which there's a link in the description and in the top comment for you to join that i was gonna record today if anyone wanted to jump in and help me you can record boom get in here they did they're awesome i love it so we're gonna get into it so if you don't know about cleo this would be like a full god breakdown play by play hopefully we just hope the game's a good game right so clea uh cleana i keep saying cleo because people type it out cleo all the time it, her name is cleana even though it is Cleo, blah, 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 blah. Um, so it's Kleena. That's how you say it. If you guys didn't know, um, Kleena is a physical assassin. I know a lot of you already know that, but she feels almost like Al Kuang in the way she looks and moves and the way the abilities comes out they're a little bit more like quick and fluid which is nice but her damage numbers are extremely high like you know if you watch my P my patch notes video i went in and looked at the actual damage numbers her damage numbers are cracked out of this world her ultimate with full 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 power onto a squishy can have a 1300 late game without once you have 3k pots stuff like that it might even hit harder but 1300 that's and that's just one beam you can actually put up three beams at a time there's two stacks so you have two charges of the ult at at a given moment but you could put two in a wall walk away for a bit come back and put a third one onto the wall if you put a fourth one onto the wall it'll destroy the very first one you can only have three active and out at a time uh build wise i went jotun's crusher didn't full normal ability build that we've been running on everybody right but today i think i want to try something different uh just because i had someone mention it and i had been thinking about it on my own i also really enjoy going beads agus uh blink is sick 100 but beads agus because you usually use the three to do damage or three three two are your best abilities that hit instantly really hard your one is still a really good ability so yeah having beads agus plays kind of like sukiyomi in the way that you you're in the middle of the fight and you can get out but you're using your movement to get into the fight so to get out you either use agus or you walk into a wall it's pretty interesting it's pretty interesting you gotta do the map updated it's all snowy with some folly leaves it's beautiful so if you don't know the max order on the god you want to max your three first because that is going to do instant burst damage you are then going to max your two and then you're going to max your ult and then your one uh i actually was really wrong i had one of my viewers tell me to try it and i was like that doesn't make sense because you're using your dash to get in and then uh cyclone one of the pro players came in and broke it down tell me what he was doing with it and how he's pretty much just one shotting everybody he had like a 33 kill game or something he said his first game so i needed to uh, try it out and it is definitely a move it the le leveling these first is 100 percent the move i can't eat this hades damage we probably could have killed if brendo had his clear up but he used it on the wave so it's all good we'll survive i need brendo to pull this they have really good sustain with hades yeah but and if you didn't know one oh shit one thing i, I wanted to make sure Oh, I missed. I'm trolling. I won't, I'm trolling. So your one actually has a silence, like Ganesh, at the end of it. So you can one them, do the damage, and interrupt their abilities. I've done it to, like, Geb roll out a bunch of times. I've done it to uh, counter clean us. Like another... Oh, shit. Right, gets this guy. Yes, let's go. Whoa! What just happened? Oh, he silenced me. Nice. How did he get there? Yo, wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> How did he get behind the, <laughs> the tower? <laughs> I, I honestly... Oh, he lagged the other side of the tower. That's unfortunate. I was so confused. I was like, he was just next to me. He doesn't have a blink pretty crazy he, he actually has a beads so yeah your damage potential early is very high because you're a three 
and the reason this god is actually going to be o op or is op is the damage numbers uh she does way way more damage than i would have imagined um for being honest i really when the god was just when they showed the god and they showed the abilities i i basically said she seems really unique but probably gimmicky because like how are you gonna play a god like this um and then i was like well it's really based on her numbers you can play a god like this easily if she's one-shotting well she's got multiple ways to one-shot i've had a double stacked ultimate hit three people that were mulan rooted by milano uh that did 600 damage to each of them at like level i think it was like level eight or something like that it was literally it was right here i was in this wall i haven't showed you guys the passive yet which is kind of troll but you don't need to be just running around with the passive all the time the one thing about the passive that i don't like is that it takes a second for how long it takes to get in and then how long it takes to get out to really use the passive uh can be kind of rough but i will show you my favorite spots to put the wall alts as of now let me just walk away here so here's actually where i'm going to get to use the passive so it's really good at objective stealing yeah, it's right here. oh i missed i threw it out too early Bro, that was a good disengage for him very good disengage he hit five too got one of his alts so yeah uh, I, I i placed my alts too slowly right there uh that was kind of bad but my favorite place to put the ults are in this wall facing the right here um you trap them in this corner and it hits all the way out to the middle of the lane so as they're walking around the wall you do a lot of damage plus you can three out to engage there without actually like taking tower damage it's really really potent you can do the same thing on this side in this area you can do it back here you're pretty much just looking at all the little corridors Ooh. gotcha and then we just want to get out we'll just walk on in here and we're out big ult big oh my ult didn't trigger us too far away there we go there we go gamers i missed my big swing i don't want to play too aggro because we don't have ult here good rotation from my mid laner i like it i like it the range and the delay of the ult uh it does you get more used to it as you use it over and over again it is um it's kind of calculated like everything about this god is very you want to be pretty calculated maybe not the one shot potential the three two part but placing your ult walking through walls how you want to attack people definitely needs to be semi-calculated i have a ton of gold i didn't even realize i was farming this much other thing is she is hyper um power power spiky <laughs> she's she really has nutty power spikes on every item like like really crazy power spikes as soon as i if i had jotuns in that fight i could have just run through them all uh but since i had him back because i'm being greedy and it's five to zero i uh i didn't have it is he good yeah he's good every lane is winning right now i have three kills and i don't even feel like i should have three kills i mean granted the one guy did like in and i probably shouldn't have that kill but so i'm gonna try going into a soul eater this game with basically the idea so when you come out of the wall right you in a wall do, 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 do you take a little bit of damage uh and then you come out you get a buff the buff gives you 10 percent ability life steal so we pair that with soul eater and we are getting a lot of life steal uh, a lot a lot of life steal and i haven't tried this yet just so you guys know i want to try it Oh, you double, you double, you double, you double, I think I can get him. I think I get him. No, I can't. Oh, this, the, he can't see me. He can't, yes. Get him, get him with a good suck. Yes. Nice. So, oh my goodness. That was so close. So your two invises you from the person you hit with it. So when I just hit him right there when he's on top of me, I went invisible. He couldn't see me. Uh, if I take damage or he hits me or I do damage, um, obviously he can see me for that time. Kind of like Loki stealth, but a little bit longer. Where if you're a Loki stealth, you get hit. They can kind of see where you're going. Well, 
it's longer you like fully reveal for a second and then go back into stealth uh during it you also get movement speed so it helps you disengage very very easily which is pretty much what just, just happened he couldn't do much like that wasn't wasn't him misplaying that was him just getting bamboozled by abilities and and the play Woo. that was all, my alts were were doing tons of damage there like ton, look at it like okay maybe not tons but they did do a lot of damage there a lot of disruption caused their cleo to kind of get forced into the fight real quick so we've got our item almost finished which is beautiful and then i'm not i am 100 percent sure what i need but i'm not sure i want to go it uh because i built it all day yesterday i'm gonna build it i've been going erendite uh it allows you to ult and then chase people first of all that's beautiful it's a lot of bonus damage it's really good power it's high power 75 power item in a cdr and also when you're playing this god when it comes out you're gonna be playing against another cleo or sorry cleana i keep saying cleo because of people typing in chat another cleana uh almost every game and when that happens you're gonna want erendite so you can see her every time she invises on you because if you can't it's gonna be frustrating it'll get very frustrating very quick he's actually doing good damage um other team needs to ward up a little bit more and they'd probably be doing a lot better they're playing against an old the old remain himself anthony seven six seven he's actually pretty good at all too not joking so i'm gonna try to set this up right uh so i was putting him here like this so we put two down right there's two in the wall we gotta wait 40 seconds to put another one down um and then when we do we usually the idea around it is you are pulling pyro or trying to fight a fire late game you're basically fighting your own fire so you do that in preparation for you about to pull fire so then when they walk in you just insta kill them right tons of damage tons of damage gamers i don't want to dive him at all i'm gonna rotate in get my other alt down and then i i'll probably hover here just to show you guys like the the potential it has right um i want you guys to see the damage that comes out when it goes out i'll wait here for a second but i think i want to leave yeah yep speeds are coming up too eventually they'll come into the jungle i think i mean they they're so far behind they might be afraid oh damn he's very low so i'm gonna insta kill this guy <laughs> the 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 ability almost comes out of nowhere dude i swear uh oh uh oh am i gonna steal in time no good all he ulted properly i'm gonna try to bait him into this i am gonna try to bait them into this i'm taking my damage i'm eating it i'm eating it i'm eating it they know i think or maybe my team rotations caused them to back off i was trying to bait him into it man team let me let me debate hopefully i'm looking this way when they whenever they walk into it i want you guys to see the burst and the potential damage that comes out if you have cc gods it's even more prominent so in late game team fights you'll as the fight's about to start you'll go into a wall get into the wall where the fight is going to happen so like say the fight's going to happen here i would want to get in this wall or in that wall and then you just throw your one in while you're in stealth you put your one on the wall so you're still in sorry i say in stealth when you're in the wall you can put your one on the wall and it'll do damage just like this but a little bit wider it'll do aoe damage and then you can drop your alts and just do tons of damage they can't even see you like you can't be targeted and then you just pop out with your three and insta kill them it's a pretty sick combo that <laughs> that can be done with this guy like it, it really is cool stuff and tactical and enjoyable to see they just blew him up that sucks i didn't get to see it I'm taking his wave because I want the stacks. And I'm back. I'm going to go get Aegis. Like I said, I really enjoy beats Aegis on this god. It's just the Aegis gets you out of a lot of poopy situations. Like really, really bad situations can just be Aegis and you just walk into a wall or, you know, move around a little bit, do some juking. This god has really low cooldowns that game once you have all your CDR online. Um, the other thing I wanted to try that I think is going to be very strong. So we are we all already know Bumba Spear is broken, like huge broken. But I actually think Bumba's hammer might be better on this god because your combo is this. It's three, boom, two, boom, right? That's your combo. So if you Bumba's, your three is gonna be back up. And you can just keep moving. You just never stop moving. I think that's, we're gonna ult here, double ult here. Oh my gosh. 
The damage! The damage, dude! Oh, so that's another thing. Your ult can shred objectives. Uh, as you, you, you'll find out. Your ult can really just shred through objectives. Pretty good on farm. That was a good gold theory pool. They need to group and they need to ward the enemy team. Like they're they're not missing abilities or being stupid about anything. They just really need to group. So we finally have our soul eater stacked. Um, they might be dead. Yeah, they're dead. Oh, he's healing a lot. They have double heals. That's why we the other team needs anti heal. Okay, they got a kill. Still live though, which is good. We're gonna go ahead and get our Aaron died online. Like I said, I'm gonna go Bumba's this game. I want to make sure I explore all possible builds, but I really do believe that Bumba's hammer might be the move. This build might be the actual like move. You are losing power. Don't get me wrong. Your abilities are like 100% scaling, so power is super key. But, but i think you can still one shot i am pretty sure the power is high enough that on squishies you're you're one shotting anyway so it doesn't matter i believe right now if i get on the hades or on the medusa i'm gonna one shot them i am pretty sure i will one shot them but they are very behind at this point but i think late game even i would one shot them i'm gonna go ahead and look for something like i have six kills and i feel like i haven't done too much Damn, what? Uh, look at my wolves over there. Hello? You could also do crazy stuff like dropping your, your ults onto red buff. So when they walk up and pull red, you could try to steal it. You're gonna blow it up and steal it real quick. Uh, I will show you. This is one thing I wanted to try. Oh, uh, he saw me, I think. Oh, he didn't see me. I don't really know how. Ooh, look at that life steal. We're full health. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna try this. I, I kind of figured their cle clean out would come this way, but I think he went over to check his speed. Figured he would assume it was down. I missed my dash. Oh, there's their cleaner. It's like, I can't see him. See that? He just hit me with this too. I don't know where he is. He went back that way. I mean, I kind of have an idea where he is, but you don't know exactly where he is, right? Uh, the cooldowns, if you haven't noticed, super low. I only have 20% CDR right now. Uh, they are very, very low. Almost all sub 10 seconds. So with our Bombas, that'll be... Hey, once Bombas online, the extra 20%. Dude, what is he doing to this poor guy? He did pick Medusa. In current meta, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think that's a move. Oh, you guys haven't seen this either. I keep forgetting to show you this. So there's now, you you hit that, it drops us on the ground. When you go inside, you're fogged up. So you can actually be safely back in here. Uh, I've used it a good amount to bamboozle. I have used it a good amount to bamboozle people like waiting at their blue buff and such. I didn't get XP for that, wow. The lifesteal you get really isn't insane unless you're in a team fight. Like healing off of this. Healing on these camps, really not cracked. Really, really not cracked. So his speed is up. I don't know if they just use my ult or not because they're fighting over there. I think he just full inted. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, no shot, dude. Bro, how did he just live? He has 10 kills. Oh, he's an Aussie. He's got life still. Ooh, we're taking a lot of damage. Taking a lot of damage. Taking a lot of damage. That ability scales up very quickly or that sorry that that damage scales up very quickly how much you're taking so they should know when you're in here but you know a lot of people probably just think their teammates smack it when they're walking by i think people will have to start respecting it a little bit i thought his speed was respawning soon did i just troll myself i'm kind of bamboozling here but i want to make sure i steal this If you have the timers, oh shit. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh. So my one in the wall there just did 100 or 386 damage and my three olds did 650 damage. Oh my goodness. That's what you can expect gamers. That's what you can expect from this. Oh, please don't let him steal this. I 
trying to body block it so you couldn't steal it. I'm all team this to make sure it does as much damage as possible. Oh. Oh, oh he messed up. You messed up, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. I might be able to get another kill with the wall. Oh no, he's yeah, I can. So he's gonna I'm just oh he's still here. He's backing. He backed there, man. He backed. I was gonna play into the wall. My team is really bullying a little bit. I think the other team may end up surrendering. I didn't tell them not to. Um I kinda wish I had just so I could make sure I got a full gameplay in if it was bad either way. Uh because I'm still learning as you can see the numbers and everything. I'm still figuring out everything. I think this build might be my favorite build. And granted, they go anti heal. You're you're kind of bamboozled, but uh, I like this build and the potential of this build. Sustaining, having an Aegis to get out of fights whenever you need to. The damage is still definitely there. I'm trying to farm 20, which is greedy, but I really want to 20. I almost hope my team overcommits and dies, so the other team gets a huge gold spike and levels. They need levels bad. Yeah, probably a tactical fury. So at this point in the game, we're gonna want more power, which would usually be heart seeker. But if I go heart seeker, oh, I just messed up really bad. If I go heart seeker here, I'm not gonna be able to get bumbos for a minute. But it, it is what it is. We'll go farm out. They're gonna get gold fury, and I can get all the camps on the right, and probably the wave. It'll give me 20, and it should give me enough gold to farm it out. Your one does do good damage, by the way. So you, you are maxing your three, your two, your ult, your one, but your one is doing good damage. It's not bad damage. It's just very easily interruptible damage. Oh, you are not immune in your one. So it's another factor. Yeah, kind of save the one for like my defensive-esque ability, especially when I'm against knockup gods like Geb and everything. Um, oh my damage, dude. I just kind of ate it all. What's his build? Why am I so good at he went transcendence. With the nerf to transcendence and really just transcendence in general, I really think it's unnecessary. Yes, power god, high scaling, it is valuable. No one's saying it's not valuable. It's just unnecessary. So now we have Bumbas. This is my first time trying this build. Uh, so I, and I know I'm going to do a lot of damage because we're ahead. But I want to see how it feels like going in and then using abilities again. You know what I mean? Like going in, hitting them with everything, and then being able to do if it's instant. Uh, the ability to, to just dash back out essentially because you could cancel your one you, i could i could three in right auto two auto and then one and cancel it in auto and I, all my abilities should be up all the time bro his this medusa's team needs to just help him he's just leaping on the medusa and nobody's around i don't really understand but okay I'm gonna try to fight this. Oh, Alright. That was actually really, really uh easy. I didn't even get the all <laughs> I didn't pop my bumbos. Oh my gosh, I just missed. Awkward. I'll probably just group up. I don't wanna make them suffer. I'm gonna take this Phoenix because I don't know if I don't if anyone else will. Two is really easy to hit. I just keep rolling. I all did not go off right there, which is unfortunate. Come here, buddy. I missed. And he's dead anyway. Yeah, you pretty much have infinite cooldown with this build. Another thing you can do if you are stomping and you want to be toxic is uh, and there's when they're about to respawn. Oh yeah, shit. We didn't get the Phoenix. <laughs> Whoops. I was going to say, you, you put your ults uh, facing them when they're spawning and it won't trigger instantly because of how the God works or how uh, the well works. You can't instantly hit people, but do a lot of damage. We'll do a lot of damage. You can also cause a. Oh my gosh! I didn't see him. That was actually huge. They just killed us all. Oh no, 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 no. Yo, hold on. 
They don't know. Oh, you got me. <laughs> oh, he got me, dude. Big dead. Uh, and then power wise, I actually I've been going Titan. Had been going Titans, man. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Um, I really like the movement you get from Serrated Edge on most assassins right now. Oh, my perfect game is thrown. G G G, and his is too, right? Oh no, that's yeah. Both of our perfect game is thrown, dude. I was trying to end that Medusa in a fat ult. I didn't see him. He had a real fat ult. It'd be crazy if they went and got fire and we threw this game. I'm not gonna lie to you. See my one out of the wall hit for 687, and it bunch was negated, no, negated, mitigated. I can't speak. Mitigated, uh, because he's got a little bit of physical defense, and he was by a Kepri who's got a bunch of physical defense. Call for the fire attack. I'll go group up with the boys and we'll get this knocked down. You can also grab a red buff if you're trying to one shot somebody. Remember that that red buff will be extremely potent for me because of my high power. Very, very high power. Another little tip for you guys when you are threeing, I've noticed. So the three is like the only thing with this guy that's kind of buggy sometimes. If you're right here and you three, it bugs a lot. If you back off, uh, it doesn't bug as much. See, it's it's a slight like hiccup where you hit the wall, but it's way worse if you're right up against the wall. I do not know why. I've just noticed that I've gone up, been at the wall point, and pressed it a bunch, and nothing would happen. Literally nothing would happen. It was very annoying. Uh, it kind of sucks. Oh, we're gonna do fire. Don't really know what we're doing. We should just get fire. Sylvanas tanking like a homie. Love it. So you just go, you just spam your abilities. It's really crazy. I'm gonna make sure we go right. So we're ending the game and nothing stupid is happening. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I like having the bummers. I don't think it's necessary. A spear would be equally valuable because you just get a red pot you have full cdr depends on how you feel if you feel like you need the spear to one shot you need that power go for it if you feel like you're just fighting a bunch and you're able to spam a bunch i would go bumba hammer. that damage is just nuts dude oh he caught me Wait, my team bailed out why did we get the that was really weird I, I think he's preserving his kda for some reason but he should have been hitting the phoenix i had hades Kleena, and Kepri on me and my team and the other two of them are dead and my teammates are just walking away trolls they're trolls for sure unfortunate is what it is though it is what it is though dude all right let's go ahead Oh, we're full build now. Only thing we can really get is 3k pot and red potion. I kind of wish we had just pushed right. I don't know. People, I, I'm pretty sure he's playing for his KDA, even though his KDA doesn't matter because he's killed Medusa 11 times. And this is a stomper of a game, dude. Oh, he went for the spear build on wool. So if you guys haven't seen, I don't know how it would have been possible. If you haven't seen somehow, these are the ability type builds that are coming out. I do not like the Aussie. I actually like Bumba's first. I think he decided not to do that because they slightly nerfed Bumba's. Bumba's is still super valuable. Move. Still very, very valuable early game. I'm gonna try to push out right, I believe. So now we're backing? If he finishes his starter finally? Nice. That's crazy because I've been full build for a while and he just finished. Hopefully they group up. I really, really hope that they actually start running at this. My kill targets, they have a really good kind of fuck me up combo. Like this Hades life steals for an insane amount. And I didn't go anti heal because I'm greedy. They have the Kepri for the reset. I have to try to dive the Medusa and then just get out. I should be able to beat Zegas and walk away. But my beat Zegas are down. So I'm not sold on that one. I mean, they did so look at his ult at a thousand damage last time. Hades is the pumper. I might be able to kill Hades instantly and force the um, 
Force the Kimberly ult. That was a good dash. So you're one. Oh, I was kind of bugged there. I was bugged there. My three was still active, even though I just been knocked up. That's crazy. I wonder if they know that. I might have to tell them. That was wild. I hadn't seen that yet. Come on, little Wukong. I missed. My abilities are always up, dude. Got him. Got him. We do so much damage. I mean, we are way ahead, so it's <laughs> to be expected, right? That beats Aegis up. Make him dash. Man, I keep messing that up. Should be able to kill him to this. Nice. If I was taking Phoenix there, I would have died. Just a misplay from my three. I really messed up on my three there. Got the Phoenix. Good job tanking there. And that's GG. BVGG. Oh, no. They didn't get to go for a one shot because it was a stomp on the ult, but you can see how much of damage the ult did when, when I hit that uh, clean up early game at the speed buff. Just crazy burst potential. I mean, the ul ha look at it. My ul has 18 kills. I had top damage and I wasn't damage farming for the most part. Absolutely nutty god. Absolutely nutty god. I think you guys are going to enjoy the hell out of playing cleaner. I can't imagine a part of our kit that you'd be like, I really don't like. Like I said, the three is the only thing that can be clunky occasionally right now. You even saw me get knocked up and it was still triggered. So there's some weird stuff with that, but the alt is, or the passive is really, really cool. The alts are kind of skill-ish, skill cap, depending on how and when you use them. If people are, are respecting it, oh, he did out damage me, I'm trolling. Um, if people are actually expecting it, they should be able to avoid a lot of your old damage, but then you're three and you're two, it's so hard, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the guy comes out, have fun. You know everything you need to know about playing it. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the Weekend VOD channel for any Twitch content because that's where extra games of Kleena will be and really anything else I learned on the PTS or just games we put up from stream. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a comment. Drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. See you on the video later tomorrow. The next day and the next day.